it's Hannah the Artisan Duck. Um, I'm back today with a little brick stitch bead weaving tutorial for this cute little pumpkin. I've made this one into an earring but you could also put it on a chain for a pendant. I figured with it being the end of September and Halloween's around the corner it'd be fun to do something a little bit different. I am working off a pattern that I've made myself. I've done this on the computer this morning. Um, it's going to be if I figure out how to do it, I will download this as a PDF to my blog. So I'll put all the links below in the description bar. Um, so if you want this pattern, you can go and get it. The one thing to note is that I've, I've marked in the little green loop at the top. But if you can, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It, probably not. But I've not actually followed the pattern exactly. I've changed the top ever so slightly. But I put that loop there on the pattern just so you knew it was there. Right, in order to get started, we're going to add on, we need five beads on our bottom row. So we're going to start off by picking up just two seed beads and we're going to pull them down, making sure that we leave a good tail thread that we can weave in at the end. So there's our beads. Now in order to get them to sit side by side, we're going to take the needle and we're going to go back up through the first bead that we added that we picked up and added on. There we go, pull that through. And if you can see, it's made the beads sit side by side. Now you can from here just carry on and pick up one more, and that will be the third one. So pick up that one and then go back up through that same bead again, and that will give us three sitting side by side like that now we need to move the thread onto the end so we can pick up an another bead so we'll just simply go through and we're going to pick up another one and then back through the this bead that we're exiting out of we always go back through but in the opposite direction and that's what forces them to sit side by side. So we're coming out, the thread's coming out the bottom of this bead but we're going in through the top and that'll be how it's forced to sit side by side. There we go, there's our four in a row. Now we need to exit out this last bead here so we can add the fifth bead. We just go back up through it again like that and don't worry if your beading gets a little bit wobbly at this point because as you add more beads it tightens up pick up one more bead and then back up through the bead but on the opposite direction again and there's our first row and our first five beads of the pumpkin added like I say, it does tend to get a bit wibbly. You can tighten it up at this point and then start adding more. Um, I'm going to take the needle back through the last bead we just added. Like so. And we're ready to start our next row. Right, we're going to start the second row, which is all orange again, but we're starting to expand the sides, so we need to add an extra bead. So in order to do that, we start the next row by picking up two beads. And you're going to take the, the needle, once you've got those two beads on, you're going to take your needle through this thread here, like that, pull through, there we go, and you're going to take the needle back up through this second bead here and pull it tight and that will force the beads to sit one on top of each other, like that. Right, so we need another four beads in this row. So we'll pick up an orange and then go, but just one this time, and then go through those bridging threads again. Pull tight. And then take your needle back up through the bead. 
just like you did before and pull there we go right I'm going to do that two more times and then the last time we do it on this row is a little different so we're going to go through I won't make you sit to watch me do all of them this slow, I might fast forward a few sections because once you get the idea and you have the pattern it's pretty plain sailing, so there's that one right, I'm on the last bead on this row now and we've run out of those little bridging threads so, pick your bead up and we're going to take the needle just move this bead a minute so you can see we're going to take this needle and we're going to go through this thread and this is the thread that comes up from this bead and into here well no it's, it's from the bridge it's, it's the thread that's going I want to show you but it's really tricky it's the thread that's going underneath that bridging thread and back up but, so we're going to pop that through there pull through oops where's my, my tail thread and then back up like this there we go and there's our row of beading like that so the next row we're still increasing so we'll still pick up two beads to start with we've got two beads of uh, two orange beads one black bead one orange one black and then another two orange so I'm going to complete that row, starting off by picking up two beads. And you'll see as I'm working, I continually turn my beadwork, so I'm always beading in the same direction. It's just easier for my brain to cope with. So I shall crack on with that, and I shall see you when I'm done. There we go. So I'm going to turn it over before I move up to the next row. In the next row, we need to have two orange at the beginning, then four blacks and then two orange on the end and we're still increasing the row so we're with the height that the middle part of this mouth now so the row is still increasing so we start off by picking up another two beads There we go next row we're still increasing and we're going to do uh, two orange beads one black bead one orange one black finishing with two oranges we're just working our way up to the top part of the mouth now so I shall crack on with that There we go, the next row is all orange and we're still increasing, in fact this is the widest point now. So pick up two to start with and then carry on until you've added them all across the top. Right, there we go, that's done. The next row we're going to start adding in the eyes. Um, it's two orange, two black, one orange, two black and two orange again. We're not 
making this row longer now we're going back in so instead of picking up two to start with we're just going to pick up one so it's exactly the same stitch but just with one bead to, to, to start with so if I can do it there we go there's the one bead and straight in through that bridging thread there like that um, back up through the bead there we go and then just carry on adding right until you reach the last bridging thread there because we're not adding an extra one on the end either we're just going to finish using that bridging thread right I shall do that and come back to you right there we go it's starting to look like a pumpkin now so we're going to do now this line where the top of the eye is which is two orange a black two orange a black and another two orange so just pick up one bead to start with now and then into that bridging thread and off you go with your new row there we go now we're just going to finish them off we've got three more rows to do each time we're decreasing as we go up and on the last row where we've got five beads the middle bead is going to be a green so I'm just going to do all that section now and come back to you when it's done there we go and we've added on the green bead in the middle as well as all the orange beads now we need to take the needle down and through and back up so we can exit out of this uh, green bead at the top to add the loop for the um, earring wire so we're going to take the needle across and down into that orange seed bead and down again into this one between the two beads and then we can take our needle across and oops then we can take our needle across and up like that pull the thread in so it, you can't see it sitting on top of the beadwork and then up through the top like that now we're going to pick up six of the green beads so, one, there we go, there's six like that, and we're going to take those down to our little pumpkin. Now we're going to go back through just the first bead that we added on there just for a second and we're going to tighten that beadwork so it's right down near the pumpkin like that and then I'll tighten it all up in a minute but I just want to show you we're going to take the needle back up and through all those beads again so we're just going to go around there back through this will reinforce this little bit of stitching but also help to get it to sit right 
and then we're going to go back through that bead again, that very first one. There you go, just like that. And then down into the green. And then we're going to pull it and tighten it and get it to sit. So we've got one bead sitting going that way. I'll tighten this all up in a minute. And then we've got the one sitting on the top. The idea is I want to sort of make it like a little triangle shape like that. Come on. Can you see? So we've got then like a little loop to hang that on. So there we go, just like that. Now all we're left to do is to weave in this thread and the other one and to tie knots so it doesn't sort of unravel. So just take your needle down through the beadwork and you're going to do a series of little knots as you go. Like that. And then you just need to find one of the threads that's going up through the bead much like we did before when we were adding on that last bead in a row. There we go. So we're just going across one of those threads, push it through, and then you take you take your needle back through your thread and pull, and it'll make a little knot. And then you can just take your needle back down the beadwork. The knot will disappear into the beading. And do that a few times. I'm going to lose my thread. There we go. Until you're happy it's all secure and then you can cut the ends off. There you go. So I'm going to go off. I'm going to do that for this thread and the tail thread. I'll be back in a second to show you. There we go. It's our little finished pumpkin. So all that's left to do now is to put your little earring hook on the top. You could of course just put like a jump ring on this and hang it off a chain if you wanted a necklace. That kind of thing. So let's get my earring wire. I'm going to twist it open. Pop this on. And close this up. And there we go. Our little Halloween ready pumpkin earrings. There you go. I have some other uh, brick stitch tutorials which I'll list below and I'll put the link in for my blog for you to access the um, little downloadable leaflet if you would like to. Alright, cheers, thanks, bye.